Now I'd like to show you how you can create a camera configuration file in NIMAX and then retrieve these values with the Vision Acquisition Express VI. The comments here indicate that we use NIMAX to configure the webcam and then open the Vision Acquisition Express VI to retrieve those values from the webcam configuration file. I'm starting NIMAX. Look under Remote Systems. You'll find your NI MyRio when it's connected. Open up Devices and Interfaces. This might take a little bit of time, and then I can find the webcam located right here. It's the LifeCam Studio. Video mode right now is 1920 by 1080. Let me dial that back to something considerably smaller. We'll use 320 by 240. This gives a full 30 frames per second. It's very um, fast frame rate. Looking under the camera attributes, you could adjust brightness, for example. I'll just change this to a different value. And let's leave it right here at 192. Now remember that we're going to see this value popping up in a little bit. Now click Save to save the mode and attributes in the camera configuration file for this particular camera. Now when you come back to Vision Acquisition, and we're looking at that same camera, initially in the VI it indicates this for the mode, but when I click Reset to Defaults, it reads the camera configuration file. There's a 320 by 240, and there's that value 192 for brightness. Click Test, and now we're seeing the same image that we saw in NIMAX. Now I'd like to finish up by showing you how you can set the mode to grayscale, which in some cases can give you even a little bit higher frames per second. I'll set my mode to 640 by 480 in terms of resolution. Let's view the video stream again. Now sometimes you might see this error message, but not to worry. You can do a single frame acquisition with snap, and that is now showing our 640 by 480 resolution. I'm going to switch the output image type to grayscale, do another snap, and then save. Again, I've now updated the camera configuration file. Let's come back to Vision Acquisition Express VI, click Reset to Defaults. There's our 640 by 480, and there's the grayscale image.